Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the OBD11 device. Some of you might know that uh, you use this device in order to be able to read some um, codes in your car, some fault codes in your car in, and also to reset them. You can also modify some uh, settings, some hidden settings in your car or special uh, features like for example the video in motion. So I wanted to take this device because it was not too expensive it was around 40 bucks and um, and it came quite fast with the UPS package I wanted to activate the video in motion feature so my passengers uh, can uh, watch DVDs or uh, videos on the SD card so it was trouble free it came fast there is a few important things uh, just to point out it exists in two, it exists in two versions the uh, normal version the classic one which is for basic users like me, uh, where you can just read the codes, clear the codes, and modify some settings through the integrated application. So it's just their scripts that they developed in order to, to, to modify those settings. And um, there is a pro version, which uh, for more knowledgeable people allows you to modify the card um, through, uh, with long codes, and not only with the uh, integrated apps. It's also important to, to know that uh, it only works on an Android device, that you need to have an internet connection, wireless or through a SIM card. And it also works uh, with credits. So you can buy the normal or pro version, it does not change anything. The price is a little more expensive for the pro version, and uh, but you still have to get those credits. But you can buy the pro version later, if you if it, if you need because um, it's not another device it's just a code that you enter in order to activate the advanced features so i'm going to uh, connect the obd2 ports and i will show you what i have um, modified uh, in the car so you have the red light there so that means that it's connected you just turn the ignition ignition on um, on the car and when you first open the application, it will um, ask you to create an account. So it's just email, password, and you need to confirm your email and that's all. And then when you click on connect, it can take uh, some time for me because I don't have a good internet connection. Um, it, you might just have a little wizard which uh, asks you uh, to put a passcode in order to access the OBD11. Uh, device so we we'll just wait a little bit and see so as you know I have a a3 ethrom of 2016 and we're gonna see here what are the um, options that I wanted to to activate uh, the list that you will see uh, might be different depending on the year of your car the model of course so it's compatible with OD uh, Skoda uh, OD Seat uh, Bentley, Lamborghini, and I think yes, um, Skoda. I'm not sure. So now I'm connected to the device, so I can just uh, scan the car for uh, for codes. If there is something that is faulty or not, I will not do it now because it takes like a, a good two two minutes in order to to be finished. And uh, so I'm just gonna show you the application. So here I have the the car. You can have some. Uh, info about the car you can have here you can have uh, the apps so the gauges so this um, you can have this kind of information uh, we'll just go through uh, the list so you can see by yourself uh, what is available as you can see here the images are taking some time to to get unloaded just because my internet connection is not that good so this should be normally uh, live gauges so if you click on one of it it should be live uh, data that is coming in well for myself I, I don't really uh, have the use of the gauges as I told you it's just for uh, little modification little modifications so let's go back to the car let's go back to the apps so as i told you before those apps that cost some credit 
every time you use an application you will uh, pay the credits the credits um, when you like to activate or even just deactivate or reverse back to the original setting well you will have to pay some credit so fortunately so fortunately the some most of them at least uh, in my car uh, they are not expensive you know it's just a matter of 10 by 10 so it's quite okay um, of course the one that I was most interested in was of course one of the most expensive the video in motion so when you click on it you just have of course the on off you have a little uh, description and warning of course if there is any impossible incompatibility with some version of the of your software of the car so I was able to activate it successfully on the first time which is good because you know 100 credits so that's a lot so I just to go back so I can show you what I activated so my car is almost fully loaded uh, just few um, things that are missing but uh, there is nothing here I can activate you know because for example the mirror dip in my car it was an option I took it uh, so uh, so I don't need to activate this uh, fixture so what I did uh, I just let you uh, read what there is what you can do uh, so I've activated uh, video in motion auto lock so auto lock it's a nice feature well that's good if you're alone in the car normally so as soon as you um, leave the car so you have the the keys in your pocket you leave your car as soon as you close the door the car will uh, will lock automatically so you don't need to press any button but you need to have the uh, keyless system uh, which i have so i've took i've taken the the auto lock the all temperature so this is uh, this one is quite funny because in my car so maybe this is special to the e-tron model um, although i activated this it did not show up uh, as you can see here anywhere i don't have any uh, oil uh, settings well you know nowhere in nowhere actually there is uh, nothing so i was a little disappointed so um fortunately oh, sorry so I've, I've activated it you know just in case maybe it will appear after or i don't know so i just uh, give it a shot um i've done also uh i just for this one start and stop deactivation so this for those who do not like the uh, start and stop you can deactivate it from here but i read on the internet that through the integrated application some people have experienced strange um, behavior from the car when uh, the car is going to you know when you're going to stop the car uh, just like the revs are going down and just up again so it's a bit uh, strange i did not really understand exactly the problem um, I did not test this option because as I have an hybrid car um, I don't really know the impact because the motor is uh, the engine goes on and off depending on some uh, extra parameters it's just not a normal start, start and stop feature so this I did not touch you know just in case if you don't know what it does just don't touch it sometimes if uh, those applications are not compatible with your car they will just say that it's not supported sometimes it will not say to you anything and sometimes although you have the uh, function because it's a, a basic function of your car um, it will not tell you for example if it's on or off so if you have any doubt well just don't uh, modify so you have the open door alarm so this this was not really interesting uh, xds interaction for those who have four um, you know the four wheels drive the quattro which i don't have seat belt warning tail lights nar to AU, so i don't know what it what it is euro parking light no restriction 
this is more for the American model, maybe, or the Xenon, the, the, the Xenon one for this one. Um, because you can have the, the turn signal on the same time. Um, pop, pop, pop. We have lap timer. Okay, so that one was interesting, the lap timer one, because um, I found later that the only way for me to have the oil temperature was to activate the lap timer. So now it is on the lap timer. So when I activated the application, uh, well, it just appeared. And now I have the, uh, well, as you can see there, the oil temperature, which is, well, quite nice. Then you have, okay, so I let you read the, oh, the other things. So that's, sorry, I'm trying to get back if it wants to. Okay. So the optical parking system for those who don't have the, um, well, the OPS, you can activate it. Well, I, I have it myself, so I didn't need to, to test it. You have this, you can change here the A3 by the S3 or R3. Well, this I did not modify because, well, I have a S3. I don't <laughs> want to change it. The dynamic LED turn signal. So this I will show you um, in a minute what it, uh, what it does. For those who don't know, I've taken the, the gauge test needle sweep. It's quite nice, you know, to have. And I think that's it. So as you see, I did not uh, change a lot. Uh, there is just one that I missed. It was something to do so with the, uh, uh, here, the DRL setting in head unit. So this ID change, so as you can see here, uh, suddenly this one, the setting here appeared, which was not here before, of course. I can try maybe to show you also the needle sweep. So, you know, it's quite nice. It just adds some, you know, special effects in your car. And uh, the video in motion, so here I, uh, I will not show you because I will not be driving the car right now, but it did work on the first uh, try, which is great because, well, it's 100 credits. So that's it. Um, I'm just going to show you the dynamic headlight uh, turn signal, the dynamic turn signal, what it does here in this car. So it should be the same for all A3 of 2016, I can suppose. So I will just show you. see it's a little bit particular but we don't really see well because there is a lot of uh, light so yeah so it's not real dynamic like the uh, 2018 model the lifted relifted version so it's just a little bit different but still it's uh, well you know it gives you a different look so that's nice and I think um, yeah, I think that's it um, also, I would just to point out a last thing uh, for with this um, application on the phone. Um, as I live in Switzerland, I unfortunately was not able to download the application, uh, neither to buy those uh, credits. So, well, that was a problem. I was quite mad because I have. I bought a product but I cannot use it so I tried different ways I've downloaded the APK uh, on the internet you know it's not recommended but I tried and also I used a VPN uh, in order to you know to simulate that I was in the States in the United States and I was able to download the application unfortunately for the uh, credits because you can buy the credits um, directly in the application Here, as you can see, uh, you can have so the wallet. Well, as you can see here, also the history of what you did, of actually what I did here. And um, well, quite interesting because at least you know what you changed. Because if you made a mistake somewhere, it's good to know. 
Um, so where is it? I wanted to buy some credits so you can buy here this. So just for the real price, um, I think I will not be able to show you. Uh, no, I will not be able to show you because uh, Google did not allow me to buy those in-app purchase. So I will make, um, I will post the links on which on which site I was able to buy those credits. I also sent a message to uh, to the developers, but I think I don't know if they answered me. I don't have any new message because I wanted to ask them, well, how can I buy the credits if you don't allow me, or I mean, if the Google store doesn't allow me to buy the credits. So I found a site, so it's a bit more expensive, unfortunately. Well, I had no choice, so I, I bought it from another site, but it worked very well, thanks thanks to them. And I will, I will show you all this um, in the description. Okay, so thank you for your time. And uh, if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate, hesitate to ask me well, for the basic ones because for the advanced I'm not the good person to talk to and if you have this device enjoy! And just to finish this I wanted to show you the auto lock feature that uh, I activated on this car so as I told you uh, as soon as you go out of the car and close the door and only if you have the keys on you, uh, the car will lock automatically. So I'll just show you. I just close it like this, and as you can hear, it closed. So this is only if you have the keyless, um, the keyless entry. Uh, but also, what is funny is that it does not fold the mirror automatically. So if I wanted to, you know, them to fold, then I just have to press here and it will close them. Well, that's it.